Hello, we're back again. Uh, I'm going to show you a few things that I've been working on lately and kind of get you caught up with what I've been doing. Uh, you notice my skin might look a little blue cast to you. That's because I'm actually filming using one of my grow lights that I had put together. I'll show you that here in a little bit. And uh, kind of give you some ideas. I'll show you my little gardening area, my uh, laboratory as it were. Now we've got to start off here with my uh, little growing area. This is just a, a simple shelving unit that I uh, purchased recently. Uh, got it on sale. It cost me around $20. And it makes a nice little uh, area to work on my, my gardening. So i got my uh, grow trays and stuff down there. and place for my potting soil. Here's, uh, of course, this is my... Uh, my newly built hydroponics unit. You can kind of see what's going on here. Okay, let's take a look at the hydroponics. Um, these are the uh, the herbs that I talked about I was going to start in here. Now these are uh, sure to grow cubes that are set in uh, hydroton. Uh, you can see here, here's, here's uh, those white cube here. Now this one I, I just transplanted. Uh, and then you see the ones that have been in there a while, they've already they've got a layer of algae or something growing on them. Like I said, this is uh, experimental to me, so that was kind of a surprise that the algae took over like that. Even though this is a clear tray, I don't really have much algae, if any, in there yet. Of course, now I change out the water every week on this, and this is my first week. So, we'll see if that anything comes of that. But anyway, here... Um, First cube here is some cilantro. Now I I've been having trouble with that. Uh, I, can't, I couldn't get it to uh, to start off in the cubes for whatever reason. I don't blame the cubes. It's probably something I've done obviously. Uh, being an amateur at this, I'm bound to make mistakes, but that's okay. That's why I'm here learning. Uh, here's the parsley. Now each one of these cubes, I put three seeds in to kind of. I don't know. It seems to be kind of the, the way to go about that. Um, so on the parsley, only one of the seeds really took off. Here on the basil, uh, all three seeds took off, but one come out kind of, only had one leaf. I don't know if uh, it got damaged or whatever, so I pulled that one out. So I've got two still going there. Um, not really sure. I, I should probably thin them. Uh, will I? I'm not sure yet. Uh, we'll find out. And over here is the oregano. Uh, you got all three seeds are also growing there. And I left all three in because they seem to be kind of small. I don't think it's going to cause a problem having three growing, at least for a while. Okay. Okay, here's my little soda bottle greenhouses. Uh, Nothing mysterious about this, obviously. You just take a soda bottle, cut it about oh, half, between a half and a third of the way down. Makes a nice little little pot for, for uh, starting your plants. I drill a hole right in the center there. Yeah, that's a nice, that's the, the toughest part of the bottle. And the less likely to crack and split out by drilling it there than any other place. And of course the top Cut a few slits in it, and that'll slide over like you see the other two there. And I'll get this started by, uh, I'll pour some rainwater down in here in the bowl, and just kind of let the plants, or the, the soil, soak up the, the rainwater. Alright, now here's, uh, this is using, uh, this is, was a salad bowl that I got from McDonald's, or, or maybe for Wendy's, I don't know, you'll have to figure that out for yourself, but anyway, uh, these are the little pods that come in your Jiffy Gardening uh, container, you don't have to fill the whole container all at once and, and start all your seeds at one time with a little 
pods there. Uh, you can see these. I took them out, uh, soaked them in water, and uh, these all have pepper plants in them, uh, jalapeno and uh, Anaheim's. There's my little sticks telling what kind. I know which ones by, you know, the toothpicks pointing up, down, or it doesn't have a toothpick, whatever. Uh, these need an extra week compared to my other plants that I'm going to be using little pods for. So I'm giving them a head start in a different tray as opposed to filling up the whole they still got the whole tray down there. And you can see that I took a few of them out and I'm using them up here in this. Uh, give these a week head start and then uh, when I plant all the, uh, the seeds in the other pods these already have their head start so they should all germinate and start sprouting at just about the same time then. Okay, so that was a quick look around my laboratory, uh, known to the rest of the family as the laundry room. But you see, you don't really need a lot of room, uh, just a nice little shelving unit uh, is serving my purposes now. Maybe uh, later on this summer I'll, I'll build a greenhouse or, or some type of gardening shed. So I can actually move to uh, larger and more complex projects. So hopefully you'll be along for that, and uh, I'll see you next time.